So Grant, welcome to AOC. This is one of our two P3s. It is a state-of-the-art air, airborne collection platform. It's instrumented with a comprehensive suite of equipment. So let's start yeah. with our tail Doppler radar, the TDR. Okay. It will uh, visualize both the uh, moisture field and the wind field, uh, horizontal wind speed and direction and vertical winds along our entire uh, flight track as we're flying. This data is important in a, in a couple ways. One is research. It characterizes environment very comprehensively. And then secondly, operationally, this data is used in real time by the Environmental Modeling Center to initialize their models. It send off the aircraft uh, every 30 minutes okay. and uh, goes directly to uh, the Environmental Modeling Center uh, for them to uh, use. The next instrument I'd like to talk about is uh, as an instrument that measures the wind speed with okay. the magnitude uh, over the ocean. It's our step frequency microwave radiometer. We call it the Smurf. Uh -huh. And uh, anytime we're flying over the ocean, it can uh, convert the back, back scattered microwave radiation uh, from uh, space into uh, the magnitude of the wind. Wow. Very accurately along our entire flight track. Very uh, important data set to characterize the scope and, and strength of the wind field inside a, uh, a tropical storm or a hurricane. For what's happening on the ground or exactly, at the surface. Exactly, right? Immediately below us, along our entire flight track, we right. can describe very accurately and precisely the, uh, the magnitude or the strength of the wind field. The aircraft is also instrumented with uh, a number of what we call in situ instruments, instruments uh -huh. mounted to the aircraft that measure uh, weather parameters immediately where the aircraft is in the sky. So if we're at 10,000 feet, we will get measurements of temperature, wind speed, direction, uh, those kinds of things. This particular instrument is our uh, cloud physics probe. It measures the, uh, the size of the water droplets in the atmosphere down okay. to the micron level, wow. the density of uh, how many uh, water droplets there are, and the state they're in. Understanding all of those uh, physical details about the moisture field is critical to understanding how the storm is developing mm -hmm. and the current state of the storm. This is uh, probably the, the, the key safety of flight uh, instrument that we have on board is our lower fuselage radar. Yeah. It's uh, one year old uh, uh, as of June, so it's a brand new radar. It can look out 360 degrees around the plane as we're flying. Uh, out to about 120 miles. So we can see, uh, you know, a 240 mile diameter of the storm environment at any given sweep. It takes a sweep every three seconds. It's available to us in real time on the airplane to assess or characterize the, both the storm, but mainly to assess uh, any areas of danger uh, for us uh, that we're headed toward. Right. So it's an amazing capability. And then lastly, on the in front of the plane, we have the last of our three radars, uh, the nose radar. Okay. It's, uh, it sweeps 180 degrees immediately in front of us. We get a sweep every second. We call it our tactical radar. And uh, we can use it to, again, complement the lower fuselage radar to identify any risks uh, that are in front of us associated with the storm environment and to help us carve our way uh, effectively through the storm. So put together, this is the most comprehensive weather station that you could ever hope to have in a storm. Yeah, this is the preeminent airborne atmospheric collection platform there is, bar none, in the United States or across the world. This is it. That's right incredible. Here. Yeah, this, this is an amazing capability that NOAA has and the United States has to support uh, the general public.